Hello YouTube, uh, this is Aman and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up soft Twitter VPN server in Raspberry Pi 3. So I have the same video tutorial which is about for our own to server but and now we're going to set up same settings with Raspberry Pi. So we're going to download first uh, Raspberry Pi uh, soft Twitter VPN server for Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to download page soft Twitter VPN components to the VPN server. And the platform should be Linux. The architecture of CPU should be ARM EABI32 bit. This one. So download the file. I'm not gonna use beta. I'm gonna use RTM build. Copy link location and connect your server. Make sure you got the IP address of your Raspberry Pi from the local LAN. So I have SSH. I at 192.168.2.103. Uh, I connected and uh, sudo as you. I'm gonna go to root folder instead of file folder here. EWD. Sorry, you can see that it's root folder. Okay, so we gonna download that file in the web get and paste the location of uh, URL file and it will take few minutes based on an internet connection speed I have about um, 1 Mbps 2 Mbps speed and um, we might need build tools let's say I think I just installed Raspberry Pi few minutes ago I think build is pre-installed ls you can see that tar widget file is there so we're gonna extract the tar file tar uh, zxvf and the file name soft user ls you can see that the soft user vpn server folder is created let's clear so now uh, we'll enter the folder cd and VPN server and uh, we'll execute command sudo make and it's asking for do you read license agreement and yes understand the agreement yes do you agree the agreement yes and server is uh, it's about to deploy Now we can move this folder to use a local folder. So let's uh, back to the root folder, and you can see ls folder. Is, uh, ls here is VPN server. Now we're gonna move this folder to use a local. So sudo move VPN server VPN server to user local user local and cd user user local db and server enter and now let's go you can see this all files now we gonna cmod for all files in here so sudo cmod 600 for all files and a cmod for uh, executable file so cmod 700 for vpn cmd file vpn cmd and vpn server and enter now we have given the cmod permission now we're gonna Create an executable uh, auto start script. I'll post this script in a video description so you guys don't have to uh, let us skip. So we'll make a executor, uh, executable uh, file which should be auto automatic restart the automatic restart the VPN server while the system startup. So nano etc uh, initiate. VPN server. 
and we'll put a bash script in here Control X, Y and we will add CMOD permission to it sudo CMOD uh, it should be 755 and it is the initiate uh, VPN server enter now it will add this RC local so sudo update RC dot g so is this spelling ok update rc dot g vpn server v false i think spelling is ok now uh, we are gonna execute vpn server start so sudo etc initiate c.c vpn server start started and we gonna are gonna stop it again check if it is ok stop and restart didn't actually uh, already stop uh, and I'm gonna start now ok I'll uh, check it later ok it's so on the C option set here so we're gonna open VPN CMD so we already in VPN server location folder and we're gonna use VPN CMD VPN C Okay, we need to open VPN CMD to set up password. VPN CMD. Let's give the full directory name. And VPN CMD is here. And the manager of VPN server. Okay, we'll check. Uh, we'll use three. Press 3 to test if this ok or not. Ok, we will check. check. If it's uh, ok, then we can go to go with server settings. Ok, I think this is ok. Now exit and reopen VPN CMD and we will select now one host name of uh, IP address destination uh, make sure uh, I'm not gonna put any host name and I'm not gonna set any virtual hub because I will use a soft feature with VPN server manager from Windows so rather I like to put server password set server password set I'm gonna set password for server uh, your password name password is set and make sure you have opened the ports of your uh, firewall for your raspberry pi so i'm gonna you open now vpn server manager and edit the home network delete your settings Ok, I'm gonna connect 192.168.2.103 Post name I Port of pen is I will connect by 5555 because I did open that one Ok, you can see now the access uh, settings page comes up but you have you see that uh, default is here, so I'm gonna delete this one and reinitiate the. Uh, let's get out from here. Reinitiate the new server. Now exit and reconnect with the new So you can see that remote access VPN server. 
and press select yes the server name uh, half should be named as uh, I will give it as remote remote access I will give my virtual hub name as remote it's okay remote access okay my uh, there is a dash you can't give it space and the uh, IP address as consider is okay as it uh, disable Azure VPN create user I'll create user for myself as mm create a password Exit, and you can see that Ethernet will need to bridge. I have uh, connected with Ethernet, not by wireless, so I'm gonna select Ethernet. This one, E N X something. I have to fix it. Anyway, um, close, and you can see that the listening port in here. So meantime, you can set up IPsec, but uh, I'm gonna check encryption. I'll set encryption to AES. 128 or 128 and that's it I think refresh and yeah I think that's okay for now let's connect to our VPN plan manager 192.168.1.1 should be five five remote access. Okay. Now it's connect. Oh, it's asking for DHCP. Okay, I forget to set up DHCP. Let's go to server manager again. Connect the VPN server now. Uh, I have to forget. I forget the DHCP, virtual DHCP. Enable source. Uh, you have virtual hub and double click it or manage it. Then you can see virtual net and enable secure net. Okay. Secure net configuration. And you can set up your uh, server configuration from here. Um, net configuration. So I'm going to set it as two dot. Um, one not gonna use one zero three. Uh, destination IP address two dot one five zero two two hundred two two two. It should be one zero three. The DNS, I'm gonna use DNS as 8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.